All right, good evening, everybody. It is uh, Monday night. Well, it's actually Monday late afternoon. Hope everybody had a good weekend. Uh, weather was certainly nice this weekend. We had a lot of clouds, but we had some uh, pretty mild temperatures, and uh, that's been the trend today. You know, we actually got to the 70s today, but it looks like the warm weather that I know a lot really, really love. I know it's December and we should get cold. <clears throat> Excuse me, still fighting this chest cold. Um, but things are really going to change as we get towards the middle part of the week. Got rain chances, and we've got a major cold front that's going to really uh, shake up the temperatures. As for right now, look at these numbers. I mean, come on, what is going on with this? We are right now in the middle of uh, of December, and we've got 68 degrees in Atlanta. Uh, we've even got 70 in Lagrange right now, at 70 degrees. We got 70 in Eaton, even Athens coming in right now at 70 degrees, and even up in Dalton and Rome. It's in the 70s, but yeah, mm, 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 mm. that's where we're looking at some changes right now. We've got uh, 41 Little Rock, 27 Wichita, and all across the plains, northerly winds beginning to finally push this cold front out of here. So, you know, what's been happening the last couple days is uh, this cold front has been stationary uh, because. Well, the jet stream winds are generally moving right over it from the south. Let me show you what we're talking about here on our regional satellite radar picture here. And uh, there are all the, uh, there's the front. Uh, now the front has been basically just moving in the same direction as the jet stream. The jet stream has been coming in from the southwest, so that has not really allowed that front to start moving. Uh, we're starting to get a little kicker now at the jet stream, which is coming in from the north and west. Let me just uh, widen out the view just a bit and show you what we're talking about. Um, Let's get a little bit even more wide. How's that sound? Um, all right, so there you go. There you can actually see a little bit of a spin to our north. Well, actually, actually, it's a little bit more out west. Uh, jet stream the last couple days has been coming straight down and then diving. Winds have been going like that, paralleling the front. Well, today, those winds are actually changing just a bit. And uh, now the jet stream is coming down in this direction and finally starting to blow a little bit more perpendicular. Uh, to that front, so that's starting to push that front in our direction, which means that all of this rainfall that we see right now out in parts of uh, Tennessee and Kentucky, and yes, look down to our south, even in our state we've got some uh, rainfall coming in. Let me zoom in down there, and there you can see Macon getting wet right now. That's going to start moving in here the next couple of days. So, uh, forecast track does bring us a pretty good shot of rainfall. A couple little areas tonight, some spotty showers throughout the overnight period into tomorrow morning and then it uh, looks like more during the day tomorrow on and off especially your heavier stuff up toward north and west kind of like what we saw last week and uh, around here in the central portion of the state uh, we'll be in the mid 60s and rain looks like but check out the cool down though Dalton Dalton 57 tomorrow 57 in Rome 58 in Carrollton now by the whole time this thing is all said and done could see over an inch in Dalton nearly an inch in Canton uh, about a quarter to a half an inch possible. Might even see more than that here in Atlanta. But definitely uh, a wet week for us. And then things really start to change uh, temperature wise as we head into Wednesday. You're going to have to stick around for the uh, 6 o'clock news for that one, though. All right, so here we are tonight down to 55 degrees. Cool. A little bit of rain coming in here. Uh, but the real cold air gets here toward the middle part of the week. And we will uh, again have that coming up tonight at 6 o'clock. Until then, a fantastic.